What's up, guys? Thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. So, right, it's been some time since I did a narrated battle. Um, I actually, I'm sorry for that. I've been just so busy. Uh, but I actually had a really good battle with Jack the other day, or as you guys know him, just me well. And I really wanted to have this one uploaded. So, yeah, I'm actually free from work, at least for this weekend. So, yeah, I'm really glad <laughs> because that will put me some time for streaming and stuff like that with you guys. Other than that, I mean, look at Jack's team here. He got Avalog, Huge Threat, Rotom, which I did expect to be his um, his start of Pokemon. Kingler, uh, almost the same set that I had against Anima. I know it's real threatening with agility, you know, can set up, hit hard. That is actually what it's all about. Uh, Ariados, I don't know about Ariados too much, really. Uh, Fro, um, definitely a Huge Threat. I know Jack can use him well. And, uh, you know, when throw is around, I can't, you know, switch around because of the storm throw or uh, circle throw. So I really need to uh, actually just hit this guy once it came in. And I'll, of course, Pidgeot, which I have no idea what set that is here in the beginning. I myself use almost the same team. I mean, the only new one is Butterfree, just for electric coverage, really. He got Electro Web just to, you know, deal with um, Pelippers, <laughs> which screwed up my team the other battle. Anyways, let's actually get to it, right? Uh, also, guys, I did record my HP really weird, so sorry for that. So I'm going to narrate it as good as I can get, really. So I'm going to start with Camera here because I did expect him to go for the Rotom. He started with Pidgeot for some reason, and I was like at this point, like, what? We got hit him from the ground. It doesn't hurt me too bad because I got the Solid Rock, which pretty much yeah, rendered useless. But I went for the Lava Bloom in case it started to hit me. So I got a crit there. It didn't matter too much, actually, but, you know, still. <laughs> so now I felt like somewhat in a like, good position, but I wanted to... You know, switch out with him. So at this point, I would go for Shadow Sneak. You know, just to in case he got for Storm Pro or anything like that. Just realizing while I'm doing it, that he's probably gonna go for a knockoff. Uh, he does very much <laughs> a lot of damage, really. So <laughs> I decide to stick around anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Recover. Uh, pretty much put me in a somewhat better position. Uh, that hit put me around 70% there. And after this, I'm just gonna go for Thunder Wave. Pretty much render it useless. I don't care if this thing it has guts because I do need this thing to be as slow as possible and uh, maybe not be able to attack me. So anyway, going to my Butterfree. Uh, I don't want to break this Sash because I know it's going to be important. So I'm going to my Snappy, you know, getting that Intimidate off there. Uh, and he'll actually decide to switch out. So he's going to his Rotom. Um, you know, I didn't want to send this guy, so I'm just going to go right away for Plexus here again. I can't really do anything, so I'm really glad I went for a trick there because my ring guy has actually done a lower amount of health. So anyway, I was thinking he can probably kill me, but at least I get a Shadow Sneak off, right? No. He switched out, of course. And my Shadow Sneak doesn't do too much, even though I am Scarf now. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for other Shadow Sneak in case he decides to go for fighting move, expecting me to switch out. Which he doesn't, and that's gonna knock me out. So, thank you, Plexus! Uh, so like I said there, I can't really have this throw, you know, being around, I need to actually take it out. So I'm actually faster here because of the paralyzation, and the crab hammer will actually take it out. Get a one shot at it, really. That's only choice better action for you. So anyway, the rodents in here. I just need to lock it down with my ground typing there. I did expect to go for a volt switch, obviously. So let's go for another trick, getting the salt vest, which is horrible because I am just a special set. So even though my eruption is, you know, roughly 120 base now, it still doesn't do enough. Uh, so I'm gonna go for, I think I'm in Lava Plume here, because I didn't even want to switch out there. Doesn't get to burn. I, you know, I don't want to sack this guy just yet. So Snappy's gonna get the Intimidate off. <laughs> you know, doing the best he can, really. This Crab Hammer will do roughly around 30%, and I still got the life up there. So it's okay at the moment. Uh, I did expect him to switch out here, because there is no reason for him to stay around. He's gonna screw into his Ariadus while I went for a Thunder Wave. And at this point, you know, I know this thing was sashed, or I thought it was at least. So I'm just gonna go for play rough because my earthquake won't do anything to it because I know Ariel is actually very defensive. Uh, so that was a crit. <laughs> so he went for a stick web there, and now he shows me he got the black sludge here after I obviously recovered from the leftovers, which tells me he's max HP defensive, and that is not good because then I can't really play around. Because this guy gets, you know, Sludge Wave, Cross Poison, stuff like that, even Toxic really, which is what he's going for, and that really sucks because that rendered my, yeah, previously Assault Vested Camera pretty much useless here. 
So I'm really just gonna take it out. I see no reason to be around. He will be fully paralyzed, which sucks for him because he is actually <laughs> faster, even though he's paralyzed. <laughs> so that is beyond me. Of course, I am affected by the stick web, but still, Cinema Kingler is coming. Like I said, there, I can't really do anything with uh, my camera from the mall, so I'm just gonna sack him off really. Really sucks because I do <laughs> wanna want him around. So I was thinking here that he expected a mock punch, right? So I'm just gonna go for an, the drain punch instead, if I remember correctly. But no, he decided to sack this guy, and that really sucks for me because I lose my evil light. Okay, I went for a knockoff. But in that, that really, really sucks. I wanted to knock off anything that comes from switching. Uh, but at least I get the mag punch here. Uh, but you know, like I said, my girder is somewhat, not useless, but it's very limited now when it doesn't have the boost. But I got the better matchup here against the Avalog. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, you know, getting your left stars off there. And here we go for an avalanche, and that stuff is roughly, what is that? I think that's 40%. Like I said, guys, sorry, you can't see that. Uh, it is in a free hit KO range. But I know that I will win the matchup, but I just I can just keep going for Drain Punch. But let's just decide to switch out into Rodon, which is a ghost type. Screw me over, because now <laughs> I, I pretty much have to sack something, because I did know I needed that girder just around in case um, in case I gotta face off with Avalo again. So I needed this road out of the way. I know my Gramble can take a Shadow Ball. Uh, that did roughly against 60%, so another Shadow Ball will actually take me out. But he decides to Volt Switch. Which is, you know, I get that. I do. <laughs> I haven't. I shouldn't have done it myself. Uh, so now it's a log obviously back in. I'm gonna go for Taffy. Uh, just go for a rock slide, you know, hoping for the best. I didn't want to bring my girder in because I didn't want to risk it in case it was too slow. Uh, so that, you know, did enough, obviously. <laughs> really glad it did that. So there's the Rodom. I'm obviously not gonna outspeed it, so I'm just gonna accept my defeat here. That is a one shot at Kingler. <laughs> So anyway, I only got honey cups left. Um, I need to go for a bug bus, but I need. I was thinking I might actually be faster after quiver dance because I don't think I can take it out after um, <laughs> after a salt vest. And I was correct. Uh, this bug bus will prove to be enough to take out this Rotom. So, like I said, I'm not entirely sure I would have taken it out, um, you know, without this boost. Consider, like I said, he did the trick on it or on my. Uh, uh, camera aerial, which means it got the salt vest, which means, you know, it is not entirely impossible for it to actually manage with my Butterfree. So, yeah, that was obviously my last chance there of actually getting a win. So, you know, yeah, you know, thank you for this battle, as always, that was a really close one. You know, Jack, these battles, these, like, narrow battle that is, like, 1-2-0 to two -oh in your or my favor, I love them. They're just so close and so, you know, so fun to watch, really. So, really glad we had this battle. Trying to have another one real soon. It is always fun to battle you. And if you've been watching, don't forget to leave a like and check out Just Me Wild's <laughs> channel. He's doing some great stuff always. So, alright, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.